great. They feeling good about things. They do. Oh, it smells so good. I would give anything for them. Let me get some video of you assembling this. Okay. Oh. Um, this is the... Having trouble getting the antenna in. This is the uh, two-way radios that some of the activists are using. Uh, Bob is opening one up fresh for the first time. Yeah. This is a short walk. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Not much. I what was you, like expecting to have to walk all the way down now. What are you doing here? I saw Robert's uh, post on uh, Facebook like an hour ago. He said he followed someone from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So I was like at home and I was like, I got nothing to do right now. I'm going to go check it out. Cool. So let's see if I can get this right. Other way. Well, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm doing this in the dark here. Your camera has light amplification. My eyeballs don't. Yeah, that's true. Here, I need a sign. Okay, take, take that one, yeah. please. Take my sign, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's not locking in, so obviously I should read the instructions sometime. Uh, the curse of the well technology. One tends to think that perhaps he doesn't need to read the instructions. Yeah, you never do. Well, I do yes. if I, I do if it doesn't work. Interesting. Ah, I see. There that we go. That one's slightly different from mine. Mine slides in. It looks like that one folds in or something. Well, I thought it folded in, but it might very well slide. Oh, nice. It did slide. You were right. Cool. Okay. So, let's see. We have power. Shire right. Society. He would do that. <laughs> and... So, what, 78? Yeah. Okay, if you want um, me to give you a test, I can oh. give you a radio check. Yep, I heard that. Okay. Well, it says uh, PFCB, so I think that's 78. That's the one. If I remember correctly. Yep, it is. And is the, uh, the call push to talk? Okay. Are we there? I hear you loud and clear. Perfect. Have a radio. All right, and it works right off the bat. Very I'm nice. Officially connected. So yeah. Literature to hand to people if Derek, you I'm really glad encounter you a pedestrian. Oh, me too. I'm really awesome pleased about to this have too. You here. Yeah, it's great. You look great. You're good for video. You've got your sign. You. Yeah, I got my um, yeah. my I record cops T-shirt. Oh, that's nice too. Yeah. Turn. There you go. Hmm. Turn. Good time. So this really seems to be the front line of defense over here. Um, the, the people here seem to be where most cars that are going to be heading straight would be coming from. And then if they miss it after these folks, I mean, they must really not care. Because there's, look, you know, the, the warnings that they get ahead of time. You have to talk to them, like, and have an extended conversation before it clicks. Really? I mean, you really give people a lot of opportunities to read the message here. Uh, I'm, I was just saying, if, if they miss it after this, they must not care about going through the checkpoint. Yeah, well, they have nothing to hide, you see. Right. So. They're, they're good citizens. I'm proud of all of you. I've had a DUI. Wait, what's the moment? My car is parked though, thank you Lord. Cool. So what's the uh what's the whole uh, if I had to have a discussion about it? Should I keep should I keep going? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know, like Alright, since when do we have anti police stuff? Or people that are against. I mean, I'm against that. We're totally for drunk drivers not being on the road, but the DUI checkpoints that they have down the street right there are illegal and unconstitutional. They don't catch anybody who, who are drinking and driving. None, they had one three weeks ago in the same location, and they didn't get a single person that was drinking and driving. Instead, they inconvenienced hundreds of people, and uh, they got people for paperwork, um, you know, just different things about paperwork, like registration, inspection stickers, license, uh, something wrong with their car, I feel like something has to do with their quota as well. Sure, they get a federal grant to hold this every single time, they have to apply for it through 
because, because you started getting and uh, they get all this federal money to have it. Yeah. They, they're not going to refuse that. Even if they don't believe in it, or they don't, they, even though they recognize that it doesn't actually stop anybody. It's just that money is enough of an incentive. They get a bunch of money from the federal government, and then also when they have these checkpoints, by all the people they stop at the checkpoint, they get money from them. So most people comply with the speeding ticket or registration ticket, and then that's additional revenue that they wouldn't normally have. How do you feel about what's happening here tonight? You looked a little surprised. Well, I gotta be honest, usually I'm the one person that would be involved in the situation, but luckily... When they search your car, though, they don't have a right to search your I have your car is your learned my lesson from the first time. Thank the Lord I'm not going that way. That they yeah, yeah. Well, there are other ways to go if, if you needed to go that direction, but um, that, that one specifically is a little unsafe at the moment. If, if you value your uh, privacy or your freedom. <laughs> well, I mean, as of right now, I'm pretty sure if I would have drove, I probably would have passed their test. Yeah. I mean, I'm not drunk by any means. Well, one of the ideas that I would have liked um, is if there were, like, maybe you could use the shoulder or the right side or something if you want to just drive real slow. And, a slow person, as long as you're not uh, in the way of other people, wouldn't bother anyone. I feel like most people who are drunk would be able to get home safely if they were able to go slow. Like, what? I wouldn't have a problem sharing the road with drunk people if they could go over and have like a safety lane or something, you know? But there could be a lot of options other than just uh, pulling people over at random and, and searching their car for who knows what and then getting them for like late yeah, I mean, registration. It's obviously more than just, uh, you know, I mean, at this point, for them to have a, an entire, it's one thing to have, you know, I'm totally all about somebody, like, them pulling them over and ha or having, you know, situations where, you know, they're swerving or there's things going wrong or, like, maybe they want to pull them out because their license plate is out and that's a problem, but, like, just to just be sitting at the end of the block pulling every single person over to try and situate what they need to, obviously it's more of a money situation than it would be, ever be Safety. Yeah. The the thing is, I I would like it if police were reactive. If I was like, my bike's stolen. Like, please help me go find it. Or or like, uh, Mike, I'm broke down. Please help me. But it's like um, where they're just looking for trouble. Like, uh, pull over. Maybe you've got something wrong. We're gonna like investigate into it. Like, why don't you wait until someone like reports an actual problem <laughs> until you go looking for problems? You know, it just sort of creates this environment. For, that's what that's how I feel about it. But I love that this is happening tonight. I think it's a situation that I don't know why I'm paying my tax dollars for them to sit at the end of the road and pull over every single person that's come, that's coming down when they went out to dinner with their wife and kids and they're being pulled over right now. <laughs> really? That's not how you would spend your tax money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, like, I bust my ass all day just so they can sit there and just. How much do you think you pay for the police? To be honest, I just collect my paycheck. I yeah, don't know, but it's probably, I don't know the exact revenue. I have or, no idea either. But I don't know what know. The, I don't know what percentages goes into the city for what. You know. I think it's too much if they have money to spend on this. Yeah, I mean, if, if that's the, I mean, I'll go. I'll switch my career right now if I could just sit at the end of a bridge and pull people over. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> be pretty I mean, nice, right? I would love that. Oh, and you get to feel so self-important, right? Because you're of a hero, course. keeping the roads safe, you know, from all those people who have late registration. Yeah. Oh, we got one here. Pull over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you have a good night, and I hope you stay safe. I'm gonna do some more interviews. Yeah, it's anyway, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Derek. Derek, nice to meet you. Yep. Have a good night, man. Okay, you got a good camera there, huh? Yeah. How's it look? Oh, it looks pretty good here. You want to take a look at ourselves? Yeah. <laughs> There must be some good footage on there. Oh yeah, there's something good. <laughs> I don't know.